hello hi guys welcome back to the channel i hope you're not doing great i'm also doing good so in this video i'm gonna explain one of the spark performance tuning that i have done in my one of the production pipeline so which is the pipeline used to run in five hours and i made it to run in one hour with some small configuration changes i can explain you all those changes in this video so before i jumping into it i can explain you the background of the story so we have a uh, reporting job which used to run in uh, five hours and every day and we don't have any problem with that even to the business and all of a sudden business team has uh, come back to me and asked me that is there any possibility that we can reduce the job uh, from five hours to whatever the time that we can able to possible so they haven't given any sla to me but uh, they asked me to reduce it so as part of the evolution process i just in the job i just uh, uh, verified the uh, driver log all the executors logs like standard out standard error logs and uh, spark ui and the memory metrics cpu metrics and the cluster metrics and also the all the logs that i have verified so nothing i find in that so there are two steps are there to optimize any of the job one is on the code level one is on the cluster level so since i have verified all everything on the cluster and the log level i don't find anything so only option left for me is code level so i have taken the code base and i have went through all the code and I didn't find anything suspicious in it so I thought uh, I thought the code and everything was looks good so only only way we can do is by adding the more resources to it so the same solution I recommended to the business team and the business team has replied me same thing that uh, they already approached to some other experts and they have given the same solution to them so since then I just taken it as a challenging task to me and uh, I just uh, requested one more chance to me so I just taken a one more attempt so in this attempt again i gone through all the logs and everything all those i just reiterated all the logs and everything this time i put a lot of effort and energy uh, to it to understand and to identify at least one uh, problem in it so that i can able to reduce the uh, thing reduce the time right so I unfortunately I haven't find anything again everything looks and seems normal to me since uh, there is now much scope for the code improvement I just went for the cluster improvement so as part of that I just tried with the different configurations and I was able to test that so I usually I have a habit during my during the testing I can completely monitor the spark job performance in the using the spark ui so as part of that i'm monitoring it and all of a sudden when i open the spark ui there is no job is active at that moment in the jobs tab i thought the job has completed but when i check the job status it is currently running so i felt it was a, a surprising and it is a suspicious and i waited for some time and i was able to see that i particular task or uh, job got active and it is started running out so there i was able to identify that there is a problem with analyzing certain portion of the code so when i see that portion of the code in the uh, spark ui in the sql explain plan tab and i see that a lot of code was written in between that actions my next step is i need to find out the exact portion of the code where it is causing the problem so for that i just added the multiple actions in between and i was able to run the job and i was able to pinpoint the exact portion so I, when i find out the exact portion the portion is looks like something like this it has a for loop and it has a with columns inside in it and they are iterating through a number of times and they are trying to do it so then i was able to find out that this particular data frame has already has 1200 plus columns and they are trying to add few more columns like few hundred columns it will be vary from 300 to 500 columns so that is the reason they have coded it in the for loop even i thought it's a best idea that they need to handle the dynamic in nature right their column so i felt it was a good idea to go on it but that is actually a culprit so let me explain you how that culprit is instead of the with column i try to explain i try to try it with the select clause like right so when i tried with the select expression so this actually improved a lot in execution runtime but i didn't know what is the root cause of that right so i thought both can take the same time and can able to execute in the same uh, time but that is not going to happen in between so what is going to happen in between right so if it is the explain plan so this is the explain plan that you can see in the with column and same if i coded with select clause like you see select clause same for loop and same thing and if i did the explain plan this is how the explain plan it will be you see any difference i don't find any real difference in it then later i just did the explain plan on the extended mode rather than the simple mode if you see this extended mode here you see the physical plan like this now and 
this is the physical plan in the select clause now you see some difference right so the difference is here you see for every column that you are trying to add it is creating the new project right and for all the columns that you are appending it is created only one project so that is exactly the culprit in case of a fifth column so what is happening in between uh, this right in between this projects right so i hope everyone knows about this catalyst optimizer so catalyst optimizer is a one uh, tool or tool which can optimize your execution plan so that your sql query can execute it in a best efficient plan so that it can execute as efficiently as possible this is the catalyst optimizer first it can go for unresolved logical plan logical plan optimize logical plan physical plan cost model selected physical model and finally it will convert it into the rtd and it can execute so what will happen right if we have the multiple these projects this catalyst optimizer has to reevaluate all the process from left to right for every column that you are going to append to the data frame so that is why it is taking a longer time to generate that particular job so to analyzing that job why it is taking that time because this catalyst optimizer is spending a lot of time to add all that columns like which are 300 plus columns right so that is the reason why it is taking a long time over there so what i did was simply just replaced with with column with the select clause and there i was able to see this explain plan has changed and job has also improved almost 50 percent so earlier job used to run in five hours now it was run close to two to two point five hours right so remaining uh 1.5 hour i was able to achieve automation so i can take that as a next uh, uh, video maybe so now i have another doubt i just did a uh, deep dive in it like why this with column is not working right so there is a two functions are available in the spark with column and with columns so with columns is the one that should suitable for multiple columns and if i tried even with the with column like if you see the with columns so this will work for the multiple columns even this multiple columns also it is giving the same logical plan right so this is how if you have a more uh, columns in your data frame are trying to append the multiple columns and don't use with column uh, unless you have a very less columns if you have a more columns better you can go for a select expression or with columns function conclusion of this video is don't use with columns if you have more than 30 or 40 columns and of course it's not a very fixed defined number you can it can change varily okay the next thing is always better to check the explain plan for every code because you need you need to understand how to read the explain plan otherwise you can't optimize your code the next thing is observe the spark job during the execution so you need to observe the spark job keenly during the execution that is very much important and two optimization steps are important one is first you need to focus on the code optimization next on the cluster optimization so if your code is finest level of optimization do the multiple things on the cluster optimization without this the cluster optimization won't help you so, yeah i hope you learned some new interesting points in this video if you really learned it uh, please do like and uh, share it to the one who was uh, actually working this kind of uh, stuff in the data engineering and the spark uh, related areas and please do subscribe for more such interesting use cases and case studies thank you so much bye